Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today I'm here with Ian and we are going to check out the Asheville Celtic Festival. We've never been in this event, but they hold it every year. This year it's actually gonna be two days, so Saturday and Sunday. Usually I think it's just Saturday only. But it's we're supposed here on Saturday. To, yeah, here on Saturday. Mm -hmm. It just opened at 10. We're here right around noon. It should be a really fun event, basically just celebrating the Celtic heritage of the Asheville region. Um, for some of you that might not know, I think it was mainly the Scots that settled, right? Yeah, it was the Scots from actually Chester County, Pennsylvania, which is one county removed from where I'm from mm -hmm. originally. So, Yeah, so they settled here. Especially important to me and relevant to me, and mm -hmm. I'm part Scottish. Yep. I have no Scottish or Celtic history or anything, but I just find it pretty cool. So it's supposed to be fun. There's going to be music, different types of traditional foods. I'm really excited to try like the Scottish eggs and they apparently have haggis too. I think that's how you pronounce mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That's supposed to be tasty. Um, shepherd's pie, that's always really good. Fish and chips, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that looks so, so good yeah. on the website. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start out by grabbing some lunch. Like I said, there will be music. They're also gonna have different demonstrations of, I think, like border collies. There's mm -hmm. going to be a blacksmith there. They're gonna be doing some, uh, I forget what they call it, but like outdoor um, sports. They'll sports, be throwing sacks yeah. of potatoes. <laughs> I think that's I don't what know it what is, the yeah. sport is called, but <laughs> like that's what's. Throwing logs. And right. That manly things super manly stuff <laughs> so i'm excited to check it out there's going to be some vendors too selling like leather goods and just all things celtic so should be a fun time and yeah it's, it's an indoor outdoor event too so we're dressed for outside but yeah because it's like 30 and windy yeah yeah it's it's cold but it'll be fun so yeah. let's go check it out all right Okay, so we grabbed lunch. I tried haggis for the first time, which is a traditional Scottish dish that's made in a sheep's stomach lining, I think. And it has traditionally like sheep's lungs and heart and liver and all this other stuff. But in the American version, they don't have lungs, but I think they pretty much have everything else. It was really good. The flavor was definitely different, like nothing I had ever had before, but I really liked that. I got this combo platter at one of the little restaurant stands here and it had barbecue, haggis, and shepherd's pie. I didn't really like the barbecue very much. It was just kind of dry and kind of tendony. But the um, shepherd's pie was decent, but the haggis was actually my favorite. I kind of wish that I got that as like my main whole meal, but that was good. We were just watching some like sparring that was happening behind. There's a local place here in Asheville called Warriors of Ash and they do like sword fighting and sparring and that sort of thing. So they were just doing a demonstration behind me. That was kind of neat. They have axe throwing. You probably hear the announcer over there. They're doing some like outdoor sports. There's Highland cows. I haven't seen the border collies yet, but I'm gonna go check out what they're doing over here. Up next, Spencer. Let's help Spencer out. As you can see, it's a tough camera right there. Come on, crowd.
loud in here so you guys probably won't be able to hear a whole lot but I wanted to give a little update that we looked at everything outside, just caught the last little bit of the border collies, we wandered around in here. There's actually a lot of like really cool vendors. We actually bought a few things, wasn't really planning on it but um, I'll show you that later when we get back to the car. Right now Atronach I think is playing and they're a really popular band so we're gonna go check them out and probably head out after that. But hopefully you can hear something in this clip. I realize it's pretty loud but let's go check out the band. Okay. All right, well, we finished up at the Celtic Festival. I had a lot of fun. Honestly, it took me a little bit to get into it and kind of get into the mood of the event, but once I did, I just started having a lot of fun. Yeah, at first the bagpipe noise is like kind of annoying. It's like, oh, that's and loud. Then you kind of get used to it and then you kind of like bob your head a little bit and by the end of it like people were you know fist pumping <laughs> jumping around by With the their stage horn not glasses. me but yeah they had their horns if you guys watch the show vikings yeah it's just like a yeah a, like a cow's horn or something right hollowed out and they were drinking out of it so that was pretty cool that was pretty cool if I drank more beer or something I'd probably get that <laughs> it's, yeah it's cool we ended up spending a fair amount of money I wasn't expecting on buying like anything but there were so many like high quality clothes like it's hard to find real stuff anymore yeah everything's got like some form of plastic or polyester yeah. acrylic some hydrocarbons in it stuff uh, but yeah. this doesn't it's a hundred percent wool and it, I like the design and it's got a nice little pool tab and it's even got a Celtic knot on the pool tab. Not going to bother showing you, but just take my word for it. Well, it's cool because it has like this and then like below it's like plain again. So it's yeah. like the band across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just really nice and it's really soft and yeah, it has, you probably can't tell, but like an oatmeal kind of color. Mm -hmm. So it's like the got colors of that of mixed in. in Do you know what the brand is? Or no? Nah, Does it... I'll get it. Well, here. It's uh going to waste these people's time. It's Aaron Aaron Crafts. We're not sponsored. Aaron Crafts, right? From know. Ireland. Yeah, with the eyes on the back of my neck. Let me read it for you. Aaron Crafts mm -hmm. from Ireland. Yeah, that's what I that's my attempt at pronouncing it. But it's made in Ireland. It's 100% wool. Really nice quality. Um they had like men's and women's stuff. So, yeah, I really like that. And I got oh, I flipped it around here, but I got this necklace. I do know that the center stone is really rare. It says it's Priscelli blue stone from Pembrokeshire, Wales. The Stonehenge stone. This igneous rock is found in western Wales and is said to provide clarity and understanding and communication with the living and the dead. So that's interesting. I just thought this was really cool. So yeah. I ended up buying this. And then I also bought these earrings, which are very me. I guess you'd say they're very me. <laughs> very me. Oh my god. <laughs> they're like little antlers kind of. Mm -hmm. So I just thought those were really cute. And there was another necklace I'm looking at that I might have her custom make a little bit longer. I'll put up a photo on the screen of what it looks like. Really beautiful and I feel like it would go with these earrings. It's actually the same maker as the earrings. The necklace is from Albion Grove. It's like their little symbol. And then the 
earrings and the necklace, the photo that I put on the screen, is mountain folklore. I know they're local, I'm not sure about the others. And then these guys are in PA. Yeah, they're from Gettysburg, actually. Yeah. And then the other thing that I bought, I got uh, this wool hat that, I don't really know why a cowboy hat was at a Celtic festival. <laughs> Well, but, it's because they had um, Scottish like peddlers caps. You know, did. you think of like newspaper boys would wear it, right? And, yeah, like the Scottish. Yeah, Irish kind and of look. it just so happened that the same company also sells they cowboy use. hats. I and just so really think it's one. cool. Yeah. So next time we go square dancing. Yeah, if you guys saw the fall video where we went um, to the barn dance at um, Hickory Nut Gap Farms, next time we go, I'll wear this. I feel like that yeah. would be really fitting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wasn't expecting to shop much. No, I really wasn't. Was I thought we just to get... look at cows and listen to music. But, yep. Yeah. Get lunch. Maybe get. I got a glass of uh, mead too. I thought that would be all that we did, but they had a lot of really nice things. As so, well. So yeah. yeah, and we did that, and we listened to music for like half an hour, hour, yep. something like that. They had some really good bands actually. There was Skier. Yeah. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But they were really good. Um, and then Atronach. <laughs> That's in Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> it's Albanach. Albanach. Right. Where's that from? Flame Atronach. Oh, Frost yeah. Atronach. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, we've been playing a lot of Skyrim, so that's probably why. No. No. <laughs> that's no, for children. Been... Video games are for right. children. Right. We totally spend our time wisely. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, okay. Albanach. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's right. Yep, they were really good. Um, we actually, I didn't mention this earlier in the video, we had gone to the Scottish Highland Games in Grandfather Mountain last year, and I had actually meant to film that. I brought my camera and everything, but it was so disorganized that it just didn't end up being worth filming, in my opinion. Yeah. This was a lot <laughs> A like, lot better organized. So much better organized, such a better experience. To give you an idea, this one, it was very clear on the schedule, what's happening at what times. In what places, and it was actually there were more than one. Yep, and it was actually happening at those times too. Yeah. There were yeah. different sections for each event and each thing. Whereas at the Grandfather Mountain one, it was basically a large outdoor venue and they did have little separate areas for music, but in terms did, of like they did that well. That was that was done well. Although you know it's funny when we went there, you're supposed to pay like twenty five or thirty bucks to get into the Grandfather Mountain one, and we didn't buy the tickets beforehand. We were just going to pay at the gate. We just like walked in because there wasn't a clear entrance, so we got in without paying, not even meaning to. We just yeah. like walked in. We're like when are they going to check our tickets or what, where do we pay? Yeah. And then we're like, oh, we just Guess today was a freebie. But yeah, no, today was, was not a freebie. We paid ahead of time. It was 24 total. Yeah. Right, and then with like tax and fees, there's do like online fees. Yeah. It was like 50 bucks. Okay. Um, but if you were to come in person, it's 30 per person for Saturday. And then Sunday is cheaper, 15 online and then 20 in person. Basically, Sunday is a little bit cheaper because it ends sooner. Saturday goes until 8, Sunday goes until like 5. So, I would really recommend this one. I feel like this yeah. is a better experience. If you are a Scottish and have a last name and want to look up that last name and where your clan's history That was is. cool. If you are B, a fan of Outlander, Right. The TV show, mm -hmm. or C, a, clan, a fan of Vikings, mm -hmm. the TV show, or D, just like Celtic music generally. You like the bagpipes, you like drums. Mm -hmm. There was actually like Nordic chanting going on. Yeah, that was cool. Um, so that's, I felt like I was in That Vikings. was something new, yeah. Yeah, and when we went to see... Nordic influence, too. Yep, yeah. I agree. And when we went to see the Border Collies, we thought, because it said, I think, 2.30 they were supposed to start, and we went out there at like 2.45, thinking they would go until 3, because that's when the next thing would start. But we got out there at 2.45, and it was just finishing, so we completely missed that. But then the guy was super nice, because there was us and another family that just missed it also. And the guy was like, oh, are you guys going to be here tomorrow? And they were like, no. 
So he's like, oh, let me just do this really quick. So that footage that I showed you of the border collies chasing the ducks and like rounding them up, that was just like a bonus show. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that was really nice that yeah, I did do that. That was fortunate. That was cool. I almost for Christmas bought Ian this book. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like the Haberdeen Baker something or other. He was actually there in person. He's like a the author. Yeah. Yeah. The author was actually there with his books, like signing books and with some of his baked goods. I would recommend going. It's here every year. Like I said, mid February, we'll say, mid February is when the event is. Yep. So I would recommend it. Do you have anything else to add? I think I've said everything. Okay. Would recommend. Yeah, definitely recommend it. The mead was when, well, whatever. I've had better. Yeah. I, yeah, we had the, the mead itself. I mean, the yeah. traditional mead and it was all right. I felt like it was supposed to be a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. It tasted like they mixed mead with beer. Yes. Yeah, I agree. So that was confusing. Yeah. Yeah, I wish that the food and drinks were a little bit better, but maybe we just try the wrong oh, ones. Oh, and for lunch, don't get Scottish barbecue. It was yeah. cold. Well, I don't know. The haggis was, was very good. Yep. I really liked the shepherd's pie. It was pretty good. But she thought it was okay. It was fine. Yeah. The haggis was my favorite. And we both agree that the barbecue... Don't get barbecue from Scotland. Don't have Scottish people making barbecue. Yeah, that's fair. Get it in like a genuine North Carolinian restaurant. Right. Luella's. Luella's. Smokey, Smokey and, and the, the pig, pig. Moe's yeah. barbecue. Right. Something like that. Yeah. The only thing I didn't get in there that I did want to try was Scottish eggs. Yeah, still so. haven't had that. No. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. But... Overall, really good time, yeah. great music, very well laid out, good price, I feel like, as well. Yeah, everyone's in a good mood. Yep. All right, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there are any events around Asheville that you want us to maybe attend in the future and film. And we'll pay the admission fee so you don't have to. <laughs> we'll do a little preview for you. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well, hit the subscribe button as well, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Peace.